There's a threat in the world today, a threat to our way of living, a threat to our society, and maybe even a threat to our very existence. And what is this threat? What's up? What's happening in Indianapolis? This is the one right there. I am the ass right here. This is Wednesday Night Live brought to you by the boys from Black and White Sports. BWSports1.com. Check out all the fun and excitement right here at Stadium Tavern, 802 Southwest Street in Indianapolis. (laughs) Follow that. (laughs) <laughs> finally <laughs> the one has come back to the, the stadium, stadium tavern that was a good button use yeah that, that was, was a real good was oh, i'm sorry that was a good knob you, use. you help it you helped improve my <laughs> pitiful <laughs> replica of He's in Paula Nash. Yes, he is in a polo. <laughs> uh, I'm in a polo. <laughs> I didn't. I got. I wanted to uh, throw him off a little bit. So when Saturday at our uh, Final Four special extravaganza, I will unveil a new a shirt. new t-shirt. a new shirt for the one, folks. Hello, mother. What's up, Robbie? So whatever I was trying to do failed terribly. Yeah, so I'm I guess. just gonna stop doing it. Yes, yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Over <laughs> so, there. but hey, ass, what's going on, bro? What's happening, one? So we've made it another week here at uh, Black and White Sports Live yep. Show Wednesday nights at the Stadium Tavern, 802 Live Southwest from Street. Stadium Tavern. It's Wednesday night downtown. <laughs> downtown <laughs> Indy. So um, a lot going on this week in sports within two two uh sports a lot going on a lot uh you know we got we broke it down to we're down to the final four in uh both 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 there's, there's no f we're in, in both. both we're down we're to the final leagues. four in both men and women's ncaa brackets uh we'll talk about that here in a minute what's up brian um we've had the start of baseball season yep um, so far, we've already had some pretty exciting games. We did have one game go six hours. Uh, yeah. No, it was a little longer than that, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was, it was like, like eight. Hours. Well, no, six to like eight hours. Six and 37 or something. Yeah, because like it ended that. like four in the morning. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, that, God, come on, man. Come on, six hours, man. Ain't nobody in the stands at six hours. But, yep. Um, so, again, yeah, we're here um, at the Stadium Tavern. Uh, Black and White Sports 1 is the brand. B. W Sports One is, is the, the brand. brand. Black and White Sports <laughs> is the show. Uh, Checkers and Breakers is the show. Yes, they cover all motor sports. Everything that goes fast, shifts hard, and keeps the rubber on the road. Rubber on the road. He's got it. He's got it. I got Howdy. it down, Tommy Howdy. boy. He's I'm got good. It. Um, and what is? What the hell is he talking about? What? He's saying Addison's wearing her Notre Dame shirt in in, in support of the women that is going up against okay. UConn in the Final Four I'll on now, Friday. But, but oh, oh, I got you. Turned my head and focused. <laughs> but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Addison, right on. Go Irish in that. Yep. Um, and so, um, baseball yes. contest, man. Yes. Baseball. All baseball you have contest. to do. All you have to do to be eligible. To hang out, you and a special guest of yours gets to hang out with the one and the ass at Victory Field for a Thursday. It'll be a Thursday Same night, way. right? Uh huh. Be a Thursday, Thursday night, night game, baseball game for the Indians. So all you got to do is hit that like button on Black and White Sports page, and you're entered. That's it. That's um, it. Two weeks. You, in two weeks, we'll do the contest. Do the contest. We'll do the drawing. Yep. So you got about uh, two weeks. Yep. And if you've never been to a baseball game at Victory Field, it's a pretty awesome experience. That it is. And they have a Sun King. 
They do have Sun King. They have cream ale, and I love some cream ale. That shit's pretty good. It is. It is. Hey, yeah. you know how to get a uh, get that inflammation in your belly area gone? Uh, I've heard of some pretty good uh, <laughs> processes. Yeah. This is, well, I got one for you. Processes. This, 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 this. I got one for you. Give me the one that you like. Plexus. Plexus. Yes. Kelsey Rizzi. Plexus. That's Worldwide. a great name, Kelsey. I, I like it. I like Kelsey. Kelsey Rizzi at Plexus Worldwide. And that is a line of products that are simple, effective, all natural plant based products that focus on your gut health, reducing inflammation, and balancing our blood sugar. The whole family can benefit young and old. So check out mysite.plexusworldwide.com forward slash Kelsey Rizzi today. Well, me being of darker complected skin, <laughs> we do have an issue with the sugar. So anything to help regulate the sugar. And I have a sickness for jelly beans. So I need Ooh. the sugar. <laughs> jelly beaten and crazy. Dude, man, Ooh. I got I have some Mike and Ike jelly beans. So I've had Jolly Rancher jelly beans, Starburst jelly beans, Mike and Ike jelly beans. And I saw some Laffy Taffy jelly beans when I was at Myers. Meyer. Jelly beans. They were great. Okay. But anyway, all right. So, um, real kick. Pacers are up 18 12 on Detroit right now. First big game. So. Yep. We'll talk about them later. Yep. And other things going on in the NBA. So, the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight are done, like you mentioned. The mm -hmm. Final Four is set. What did you think of the last two rounds last weekend? Well, I think they completely sucked. <laughs> well, as we a, all know why as one a, of them as a, fan, as a fan of my team and a fan of my bracket. Yeah. <laughs> it that went completely sucked. I had three brackets. I had an um, ESPN bracket, a work bracket, and – uh, black a, and white. A BW Sports <laughs> 1 bracket. A BW Sports 1 bracket. The most important one. The BW Sports bracket is the only one that I still have a Final Four team in. And it still ain't going to work. I mean, that, uh, Michigan yeah. State is the only one that I have left in that bracket. In the other two brackets, everybody's gone. <laughs> Man, it, it, it was rough after last week. And obviously, Carolina got their ass whooped by Auburn. Auburn gave them the straight up beat, beat them at their own game. Man, you know it's people the three point line. You know, no, it wasn't the three point Turnover. line. It was the up and down game. The quick North most, Carolina the quick is an up yeah. and down. Is up well and down in the team. first half they had it. They were on it, and, and both teams were were good. And then all of a sudden, you come out the second half, and North Carolina is stumbling. They're losing the ball. They're turning it over. They they allow Auburn to sit there and just have free throws from the three point line. The whole second quarter or the whole second half. Yeah, I I just think that's what from what I saw of the game when I watched it, it was most teams don't want to run with North Carolina. They don't want to get an up and down game, a helter skelter kind of game. <clears throat> Auburn plays the same type of game, but they seem to be in the second half, they seem to be a little bit more in control. And North Carolina could not do anything. With their with their mighty mouse guard, no. yeah, I mean, stretching that five ten, I was stretching it to the like, I don't know what <laughs> scale they used, but I mean, and it was nothing that they could do to stop him. He was getting to the paint, he was making and ones, he was hitting the big jump shot, he was making the right pass, getting the good rebound, getting the right steal. He was doing everything for Auburn. So, mm -hmm. um, Auburn looks good going into the Final Four, but you know, I mean, these is. This is real teams. And what I like, the point that I like to mention. Please mention. How many one and dones are left? What, none? So, like we posted earlier in the week, there will never be another one and done NCAA team to win the Final Four in a long time, folks. Well, I don't know about nope. a long time because the – uh the switch over, I think, is what, 2022, where they go back to where um, high schools can go uh, go in the draft. 
I mean, the opportunity is there. You know, if, um, you know, one more free throw, you know, one more defensive play, you know, Duke is still in it, you know, because they've survived the last couple weeks, I mean, the last couple games. So the opportunity was there, but. I mean, you know what I mean, was, but I will always no. lean on um, upper class leadership. You know, what I mean, in especially the, in the tournament. <clears throat> since the one and done era, there's only been two teams with one and dones to win a national championship. That was the Jason Tatum uh, Duke team and the uh, Anthony Davis Kentucky team. Mm -hmm. The only teams that have one and dones to win a national championship. Every other team has had uh, at least three upperclassmen on it. Which they should. I'm sorry. I, um, if you go to college and you want to play ball in college, you got to stay at least, at least, at minimum two years, I think. And I still think that, you know, looking at, like, somebody like Tom Izzo that puts a, a program. <laughs> did you just now see that? Yep. <laughs> so th that puts a program together. You know, that's false. Because <laughs> <laughs> I correct them all the time. It's Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> that puts that puts that team together that that builds from freshmen and brings them up through the rankings in the junior and senior year. You know, that's going to be missing. But I mean, it is missing now in a lot of in a lot of programs. But I think that that's the better way to go. My opinion. Well, and I mean, if you look at it, even with those two teams that won the national championships with the one and dones. They still had uh upperclassmen. They still had some 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 pretty decent right um, upperclassmen on the team. They did. You know, I mean even if you look at the runner ups, look at the Michigan teams, you know, they were heavy, they were loaded with, you know, juniors and seniors. You know what I mean? Is there's a there's a the talent with the one and dones is great, but the leadership with the upperclassmen is what wins championships. And that over, yeah, that outweighs the, the one and done. Anytime. Anytime. And, you know, since we're talking about last, the, the and last. That's why weekend, Izzo is always somewhere close to the Final Four. And every year. <laughs> every yeah. year. Um, since we're talking about the last two rounds, let's bring up who our with leader age comes is. comes wisdom. <laughs> that's what she wrote with age comes wisdom. <laughs> who put that? Courtney. Okay. Sometimes she said, you didn't finish it. Yeah, we didn't finish it. So in our BW Sports One NCAA bracket, bracket challenge. challenge, ding 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 ding. Andy Schwimmer is in first place at eighty-eight. Teresa Nielsen is in second with eighty-six, and Emma Nielsen, which is I found out is fourteen, not twelve, is in third place with eighty-one, tied with Rodney Richardson. And Tommy Dillingham. And Rodney Richardson, that's Robin. Okay, that's her husband? Yeah. Okay. That's so Robin's bracket. They're all done. They can't score anymore, though. <laughs> Every one of them is done. Yeah, because Robin, I think, had North Carolina. Yep. So right behind them is only one person tied at six, and there's a four-way tie for sixth place. But there's only one more person that can get points, and that's Angel Lloyd. Now you go down the bracket. Because I'm sure she's got Michigan State. No, she actually took Duke, but she's got Virginia going to the final game against okay. them. Okay. Um, down the bracket, you she got. She took Duke for Rodney, didn't she? Of course. You <laughs> Whipped. Damn Whipped newly, woman. newlyweds. <laughs> you know what I mean? You do dumb when you're newlyweds. Oh, it's right? okay, baby. I'm going to pick your team to beat my team. But down the line, not too far, <laughs> is Adam Pearl and Kyle Pearl that both have Virginia winning the tournament. They're going to pearl it up. They are. I think. Well, who knows? I don't know. Michigan State still, 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 still are there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I so. mean, it's hard to cut them out. I mean, Cassius Winston is, is, he might not be the most athletic guard. <laughs> he baby might not be alligator, do, 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 baby alligator, do, do. Oh, I'm sorry. Baby alligator heads. <laughs> we knew it would come back out, folks. It's been a couple weeks. <laughs> but anyway, Cassius Winston might not be the most athletic guard. But, man, can he lead that team. And I don't think there's a better pick-and-roll guard in college basketball right now. We'll talk about that um, 
Saturday. Yes. We'll talk about that Saturday down at Dick's Last Resort for our Final Four special. Yes. Yes. We'll go live at 5 o'clock. We'll go live Hold 5. The, live, live at 5. five. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go live from 5 to 6. We'll do a – 5 to the tip-off. 5 to the tip-off. Yep. And uh, we'll talk about – we'll kind of try to – Small package, break down the teams a little bit. Yep. Compare them a little bit and try to get our matchups for the uh, these specific final four teams. Yep. And then um, we'll have some food, drink some beer. Hang out with you hang guys. Hang out with you guys so you that's, come out that's, that's coming out to us. join. We'll do some live inserts. Yep. In and out of timeouts, have time, things like that. Uh, talk to our fans that's out hanging out with us. Yep. And then we'll do a uh, like quick 20-minute – in yeah, between the quick, games. A quick, like, recap of the first game and, and lead into the yep. second game type thing. Yep. So come on out and join us at Dick's Last Resort. Show your BDE. And it's going to be a great time because it's going to be great here in Indianapolis. It's forecast to be about 70 degrees. So uh, right around that time, it's going to be somewhere between 60 and 65. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be a great time. They're going to have the windows open, the garage open. We're going to out there have some good right time. There with you guys. Right there. Drinking beer. Yes. Watching basketball. Love it. And listening to Black, Black and White, White Sports. Sports. I'm on the knob tonight. Folks. <laughs> You're on the knob, huh? Nope. I'm playing hey. with my I'm playing with my knob tonight, okay, folks. Listen. You remember we were talking that about that even sounds better for me. I don't care. You remember we were talking about Floyd's knob? Yep. Like the only person that's ever heard of it was Howdy and Floyd's <laughs> knob. So I put up yesterday. The uh, or not yesterday, Sunday, the the rankings for Indiana high school basketball is springtime for baseball, springtime, and one of the ranked teams from Floyd's knob. Are you serious? I, swear to I God, missed that one. I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Never heard of this place. I've been to Indiana for 44 years, and I've never heard of Floyd's Knob. In the last two weeks, I've heard it like Man. four times. Wow. Floyd's Knob is popping. Still have no idea where it is. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to look it up for you. I'm going to look up where Floyd's Knob is. For the one. He's, uh, Mr. Curry says he's taking the Dallas Cowboys to win the NCAA tournament, uh, World uh, Series, and the Super Bowl. Yeah, the he's PGA one of those. NASCAR. He's one of those people. He's one when, of those people. So he'll be one of the first people they go to when they actually legalize the purge. <laughs> I mean, uh, if it wasn't for the Cowboy cheerleaders, the Cowboys would be worthless. <laughs> Man. And right now, the Argentinian beach volleyball team is doing just a little bit better than the, the Cowgirls. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not saying anything about the Cowboys because I'm, well, I'm not talking football. Jimmy, James, I'm not talking football right now. Because God knows that Philadelphia is going to whoop that ass twice. Hey, Deshaun said, can we get Floyd's knob shirts? <laughs> that might be an option. Hey, but be on the lookout. In the upcoming future, Black and White Sports is going to have apparel. As Jasmine says, you're going to have merch? Merch. You're going to have merch. Yes. BW Sports 1 will have merch, folks. And you'll be able to check that out. And everything else, black and white sports checkers and records and everything else that's coming out at bwsports1.com. That's where you should go. So Floyd's Knob is down by Louisville, just to let everybody know. Okay. By New Albany. All right. Okay. There you okay. go. There you go. The more you know. Hey, I'm just amazed that there's a place called Floyd's Knob. <laughs> It works. Man. I'm going to. I guess I'm going to move somebody. to Sally's boob. <laughs> I'm glad I kept that cup in front of me. Is it about came back? Yeah, out? I bought a house on Sally's boob. <laughs> it's on the hill. <laughs> oh okay. man, Damon okay. is on it. <laughs> Hello, John. 
Je- Damon hey. is on. Yo. And the winner of our BW Sports 1 uh, NCAA Bracket Challenge, uh, you win a $100 gift card or cash or uh, – It'll be a like a prepaid card, like, like a, a loaded yeah. – card or okay, like a loaded prepaid card yep from i just i First had it financial Ooh. bank bro it was like Up right here East and then i go to say it and it was gone it's like <laughs> i've never heard of it and then now like with john you heard all about now it all like you time? see the commercials all the time now <laughs> it's like oh that's buzzard's bank right that is <laughs> john wayne Buzzer. He was slow on that. Yeah, I was. He was real slow. Yes, check John Wayne Buzzard out at First Financial Bank, East 96th Street. John, if you feel like it. He exclamation pointed me. (laughs) John, make sure you put your information out here. Thanks, guys. You're welcome, buddy. (laughs) I'm not touching the knob right now. (laughs) Hey, hey. We've had enough of Floyd's knob. I ain't knob. touching your knob Hey, ever. hey, hey. Ever. Hey. Ever. I don't even know where that came from. This is the knob. No, 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 no. This is the knobs. Hey, we're going to edit that? No, we're not. 